SJWs are angry that Stellar Blade has become one of the most anticipated games of 2023 just because of the beautiful heroine. Any thoughts? I'm seriously considering buying this game. Do you know what my first thought was? Hey, I recognize that ass. <laughs> and then sure enough, wouldn't you know it, in Podcast 166, we covered a game called Project Eve. It's the same and game. And it's the same game. It's yeah. the, it was the development title for it. So we actually already covered uh, the reing over that character there. But let's uh, let's find out what's happening now because it's uh, you know the world just keeps getting stupider. <laughs> so they're they're angry at, uh, that Stellar Blade has become one of the most anticipated games of 2023 just because of the beautiful heroine. Little is known about Stellar Blade right now, except for a couple of driving gameplay trailers and a plot twist. The game can already be added to your wish list on PSN, but the release date is still unknown. However, many players, when compiling their top five games top five most anticipated games often mention stellar blade due to the beautiful heroine. And this caused SJW dissatisfaction on the Reddit forums and on Twitter. You know, I just feel like there was a comment earlier. I think it was from our good pal. God damn, there's so many <laughs> old man who said, Dear Lord, oh, maybe I left the call and can't find it. Fuck. It's in here. I know it is. It is right here. Anime tourists see attractive female and their first thought, is, is it porn? <laughs> um, one of the players created a thread on it. Uh, the gaming circle jerk subreddit called Stellar Blade has a typical sexy girl, but gamers, how unique! 10 out of 10! I mean, it is. <laughs> That's a 10 out of 10. <laughs> Where a battle between SJWs and culture fans began. Unfortunately, the topic was soon cleaned up and closed by the moderators. But the essence of the dispute, as always, boiled down to the fact that one side condemned the developers for the lack of realism and the objectification of women, while the other argued that games should not be uh, should not be super realistic and that beautiful female characters, this is normal. Okay, weird, weird phrase. Um, here are similar comments. So Koreans definitely know how to make good games, but unfortunately they don't know how to create compelling characters for the games because they think that an attractive character automatically makes the game interesting. Hmm. The tit jiggling physics in this game are fucking ridiculous. Oh, man. <laughs> Quit selling it so hard. <laughs> and all the characters are wearing skin tight suits. <laughs> it looks like South Korea is even surpassing Japan when it comes to games for horny guys. Gamers seem to forget that many modern developers are adults and do not give in to their lustful desires like children. Except these modern developers seem to be forgetting that video games are a fictional <laughs> entertainment medium made for escapism and not everything has to be super realistic. Sometimes video games are supposed to be made for fun and creative expression and these developers are obsessed with chasing realism. But then there's so much unrealistic crap in their games. Many women in real life also look attractive. So don't make all your female characters ugly for the sake of realism. Uh, I just want to point, uh, scroll back up for a sec. Mm -hmm. So you read, uh, gamers seem to forget that uh, many modern developers are adults and do not give in to their lustful desires like children. Yeah, those children except, lusting over everything. <laughs> except these modern developers developers seem to for, seem to be forgetting that people like Reese exist. Mm. And sex sells. <laughs> Just saying, we've already pre-ordered it, right? <laughs> like, <laughs> Is it on Switch? It's on my Game wish night list. when? <laughs> uh, it seems to me that most level-headed adults find realistic-looking women much more attractive and charming than the makeup right. boob monsters stuffed down the throats of these poor, suffering gamers. 
No, don't stop. <laughs> <laughs> this may be a unique point of view that I hold oh, as a lesbian candy. woman, but my straight friends in long-term relationships share this point of view. You don't have any straight friends. <laughs> the jiggle physics look absolutely amazing. They're so bouncy, and I'm happy to see such amazing physics slash fan service in a new big-budget AAA game. I'm glad Shift Up and yeah. Sony didn't censor the game and amplified the sex appeal. Promise Yet. you that day one patch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yet. Uh, what they promised, <laughs> what they delivered. Like, yeah. where's the A-B comparison coming? T tell your wife I hope she has fun playing Pokemon Shield. She's, she's upstairs, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw that. You <laughs> <laughs> other developers should definitely take a cue from Shift Up and other Oriental games in terms of fan service and how to market their game. By the way, my wife would play the shit out of this. <laughs> like, just say. <laughs> Uh, say what you will, but chronically porn addicted boys are a huge audience. I don't understand why they don't make games with amazing sexy female characters anymore in the West. These games usually sell well and have a huge audience. Dead or Alive. Look, the fact that BMX XXX sold a single copy with the models looking like ass is a testament to, to this statement here. Mm. Dead or Alive, Senran Kagura, Atelier Riza, Nier Automata, Bayonetta, Lollipop, Chainsaw, etc. They all sell well. These games are popular because sex sells. Sex sells shirt when? <laughs> yes. <laughs> written written in crayon, comic sans. Right? <laughs> like, mm. Sex sells. <laughs> it, even a child can see. <laughs> and like all like the Google colors. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I'm sure little boys who have never touched a woman and don't know how our breasts work are fascinated by the cartoonish physics of these water balloons, says a person with saggy tits. I'm well aware of the infantile corruption of the mind that affects the popularity of the games you mentioned, but that doesn't mean I have to go along with it or that I have to respect the people who enjoy it. I wonder what I don't need your respect, actually. <laughs> wonder what these people's opinions are on the whole, like, rumor library thing you know the what group like the the library uh having like oh the mature the books? books that yeah seemingly are for grooming kids yeah yeah you know like oh you know the, think of the children how could they be playing this game it's you know it's bad well, for them it's the, what if the children want to learn how to give a blowjob to an adult man yeah, but obviously they need to be able to see that. That's not sexualizing anyone. That's just, you know, we have to, you know, they, they have to have uh, sex education so that we don't have, like, STDs and shit, you know, obviously. Man, I just feel so good. Like, we're over here talking about hot ass, and uh, Random Eleven brings it into an even more uh, boner-inducing territory of owning the libs in their stupid backwards ways. <laughs> Love it. All right, cool. <laughs> Also, want to know a fun fact? This is from Shift Up, by the way, the game company. Want to know a fun fact before jumping into the new year 2024? In Stellar Blade, our, prota our protagonist Eve body figure was actually based on a 3D scan of the Korean model Shin Jae-un. Stellar Blade currently has a release window scheduled for 2024. Follow us to stay up to date with insight like this. Wait a minute. You're telling me that this woman exists? What? But she She's looks nothing real? like Jamie Markey, except for the tiny oh. eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Anyway. Uh, oh, what's this? I need to uh, um, I need to share this with audio so you can hear. Uh, so Previously, I, I just read a bunch of uh, asinine comments. Uh, now you get to hear it and know what the person uh, and their sexual orientation are that made them. Oh, okay. Comments made off of the uh, preview a couple years ago from that. Yeah. Uh, the one we covered, the, the reset yeah. era people read about. No audio. Yeah, we can 
I can't hear anything. What? We got we got nothing. Although I I am hearing a music of some kind. Maybe maybe Green Lights got some loud music in the background. Wait, was that me? It wasn't loud. It was just ambiance from the PlayStation that was installed on. All right, sorry. I must I must have uh, not shared it with audio. Uh, the one thing I know you were talking about the the characters from the bygone era. Uh, I do think the character model was actually like very distracting in not a good way because like the camera angles chosen. It's just not like this game seems. Like God, you're selling it so well too in terms of its you know like character design. It's like a bit old and and not flattering. I don't think for a modern audience in comparison to something like Forspoken, which has you know. Uh, I mean, yeah, yes, in comparison to Forspoken, that design. sold like uh, shit. It's not the hyper dog water, like uh, fucking... something or another, but it also seemed, I don't wow. know, a bit more grounded in a way that I found much more. It is grounded. Than what we saw here. From a general standpoint, I do agree with you, but I do think uh, Project Eve, when it comes to facial construction, uh, it does have. Holy some shit. merit though, because it is the characters look very. <laughs> I I may different. need a moment. Careful, I may uh, it's just step step out. Out. you go. Careful, you YouTube. Down, that's so against. You issues. can't enjoy that. That's <laughs> against YouTube's that's, that's policy. The problem. Yeah, that's this the is problem. for science. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Well, look. Um. Anyway, yeah. So, uh, Digital Foundry. Uh, Love that freeze frame on that douchebag too. Yeah. <laughs> Which um, like so this guy this guy's leading the charge. What do you think the rest of the guys are thinking? Like I'm I've already pre ordered it. <laughs> like yeah, <laughs> I've already probably like <laughs> publicly we can't uh, say. Thing, I know you. Public. Like, I have to white knight in public and be yeah. the Mr. Nice Guy, but in reality, uh, I've I pre ordered it. So I could in reality, I've already come. <laughs> like, we we don't want to get canceled for saying shit about this, but obviously everyone's gonna buy this and play it. Yeah. 100%. So uh, reminds me. Going, if, if, if you wouldn't mind me uh, sure. diverting just only slightly, someone gave me not too much flack. They gave me criticism for two of my thumbnails for being overly sexual. And I'm like, look, I but don't do it all the time. <laughs> I didn't like, do <laughs> well, no, I kind of gave them directions for some of them, but like, <clears throat> you know, I told them. Oh, sex I know, I like, know, I know the, the direction you chose. Hold on. I know the direction you chose. This is the direction you gave. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Make it. Yeah, exactly. Wh yeah. Whichever, whichever way his dick is pointing. But yeah, that was their only criticism. Well, like, they're a bit over sexualized. It's like, have you been to YouTube? It's <laughs> like, it's, it's just part of the game. Have you, tried, have you tried Twitch lately? Yeah. Like, he, he criticized the game for being from the antiquated era, but posted, posted shirtless pictures of himself looking like a twink and sexualized himself. I think that's what you meant to say. Wow. So uh, in a quote tweet on that video, you're an attractive model. Your body is scanned into the game. They actually do a good job. This guy calls you unflattering, unrealistic, and disproportioned. They're so terrified of a beautiful and sexually provocative female character. It's downright insane and incredibly pathetic. LMFAO... And of course, they mentioned Forspoken, where the characters are realistic. Wow. Truly yeah. bangable with a mm. club. <laughs> oh, oh, no. That's a disservice to the That's fucking what model, you want, man. For sure. mm -hmm. I don't understand. Is this the girl that it's based on? I'm pretty fucking yeah. sure. Holy That's shit. That's I would disturbing. sue. Yeah. I would and look actually at, sue. Animal 11. Look what they did to Mary Jane Watson in Spider-Man. That's coming up. Fudnam. <laughs> yeah. If Lance were here, we'd smash her pass. <laughs> no. Uh, pass. This is, uh, this is her Tinder profile. This is her without makeup. <laughs> <laughs> Even uh, what's it called the the main character in Forspoken? Like they bo botched her character model mm. too. Implying, uh, so this person says, Western devs have no excuse. Bring black female beauty and sex appeal in media. 
you're implying that Western devs are intentionally making unattractive women. But when you get called out, it's just preference. Your preference isn't law. Implying, I'm not implying ugly. anything because it's real. I never claim my preferences were law. They are my law because I have the freedom of choice. Surprise, surprise. Do you always go out of your way to shame women for enjoying things? So pitiful. I'm sorry. I just need to. Uh, I don't know which one to use. I'm just going to grab one at random, but I feel like I need the voice to go along with the. There you go. That's pretty powerful. All right. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's wow. night and day. Truly. Yeah. All right. And then we also no, have. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's bright daytime versus pitch black. I can't fucking see anything. I need fucking Vin Diesel over here. Yeah. But... One of these is in a black hole right now. There's no light getting in there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and you have the comparison photo where it shows that director chick that it looks like. And the thing about those two games too, both Horizon and Spider-Man, is they're trending uglier. Like Damn, in Jamie the first Rocky game, does look like these tiny eyed people. <laughs> in in both of uh, the first Horizon Zero Dawn game and the first <laughs> Spider-Man game, the first... <laughs> Part of me for not being attracted to a gremlin. Jeez. <laughs> um, the characters looked, they were still not great, but they looked better. And they actively yeah. made them worse was in, in the sequels. Uh, for both, like you said, Spider Man and uh, Horizon. Like, Ayla looked fine in, in the first one, and then it's just uglified in mm -hmm. the second one. Well, because Big Daddy government or whoever. Um, Comes in and says, "Hey, would you like an ESG grant?" No, no, no. <laughs> you saw how the the one director chick looks resembles her greatly. So the I haven't seen that. that. Can you can you uh, can you provide that for me? Uh, one sec. Oh yeah, the uh, was it the director? I thought it was a head writer or something. I don't. I don't know. I, I'm pulling yeah, uh, memories I, out of my ass. Yeah, yeah. I remember now vaguely also what you're talking about. So in Spider-Man 2, the person mm – -hmm. um, there's someone who works on the game that looks a lot more like the in-game model mm -hmm. of Mary Jane than the actual apparent character model of Mary Jane that they use. And so people are claiming that she's a self-insert for this other person – instead of and and the actress is just you know fodder basically mm. for sure oh do you have it <laughs> do you have it for oh i found it nice put it in the private chat oh, why in is Augie in chat. horizon man it is you can't put it in the public chat i can't click on it <laughs> No offense to Augie, but you have to admit they made her manly. That's a compliment to Augie. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> I will buy this game, not for the girl, just for the gameplay. Trust me, guys. Look, just all I'm Augie. saying, you're saying that looking like this, and you know it. <laughs> I'm, I'm buying it for the story. <laughs> I mean, legitimately, if reviews are, like, absolute trash, I won't buy it. But, like, if the reviews are okay, I'll, I will probably buy that game. <laughs> Weak. All right. Uh, let's see. Are share the beautiful Yes, 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 yes. Thank you. I'm, uh... Oh no. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> it's it's a lot closer. Like the jawline is on it's the like the, the exact mouth for line. me. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And even how, the hairdo though? still how, too. How? Yeah. How do you have this control? Like 
The yeah, only way this works insomnia is that they photo scanned you because you were cheaper than getting the actress to come in and photo scan. And then the actress only delivers the lines instead of having. She doesn't even do that. She's not the voice. I know. No, but no. The, so the, the face actress the, in the other photo is not the voice. Oh, shit. She's just motion capture. She's literally just the face. Again, I don't even think she doesn't I would do the mocap. fucking sue. That, that actress right there on the left is literally just the like visual like reference? inspiration for the character. They absolutely yeah, the botched that, but hey, I'll take this paycheck. Seriously, the, I would like they did the same sue. thing with uh Peter, right? They had a visual reference character, uh, uh actor, and then they had the voice mocap actor. And that's why they change apparently, that's why they changed Peter's look in the HD games or 4K games or whatever the fuck, PS5 games. Um, because they said that the original model they made with the original reference actor, his, the bones didn't line up well with the mocap voice guy. Oh, so they had to remake shit. the whole rig. Well, the new... they made this Great work. excuse. They made this Re -rig abomination it. work. <laughs> um, so, so hold up. I've had a conversation previously with how... Um, basically uh what is it that the uh voice actors what are they called the unions have mm -hmm. ruined resident evil because they had to change the voice actors because union non-union mm -hmm. and because they have Another this really unions. because they have this really annoying um trend of well we gotta make the in-game character look identical to the actor because that takes priority over <laughs> the established look um we now have people like Jill and all this stuff that looks mm -hmm. completely different. Um, and uh, where was I going with this? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And someone said, well, it makes sense because if they're motion capturing or whatever, then the rig will uh, take to their face capture a lot, uh, you know, way better. It'll be too much work. So when I see cases like this where it looks nothing like, uh, I assume, mm -hmm. the motion Completely capture. Completely unnecessary, like by the way. Like yes, in a in a movie, for example, um, yeah, you can do facial mocap to that level, but you can also drive the bo the bones of like a stylized character like fucking Shrek. You know, like yeah, it's, it's not person. that necessary. Yeah, so so that's why this is like further proof that it's like that's BS. They can easily put it on the legacy character or whatever design and Fair and they're just making excuses but they can go above and beyond for this chick <laughs> yeah that's all i'm saying so back to the happy news um <laughs> the argument so this is from v shout out to v uh i'm sorry it's from not v <laughs> um the argument anime is for pedophiles is a disingenuous statement similar to video games are murder simulators, violent video games make people violent, Mario is a sexist video game for sexist men. The arguments uh, are made by people disconnected from reality who should be in the... I have this whole tweet here. Um, Those are not the hips of a 12-year-old. Those are women's hips. My brother in Christ, that girl is literally a 14-year-old model. She was born in 1998. She's a year younger than me. This yeah. person thinks that that is what a 14-year-old looks like. Um, I am starting to think that unless it's a woman, I'm sorry, that unless it's a woman plus or Gorlock the Destroyer, people <laughs> on Twitter will, auto will automatically see a child. Like, this is getting concerning. Who is Gorlock the Destroyer? Allow me to introduce you. <laughs> <laughs> Ashley, Rachel, Gorlock the Destroyer, and Tiffany on the Whatever Podcast. <laughs> oh, hold on, we gotta hear what's. <laughs> hold on, where's my fucking mouse? Oh my god. Share screen with audio. 
All right. I also bartend. Oh, oh I'm 23. Uh, I go to UCSB and I also bartend. Hi. Oh, I'm. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Yaws. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, I, I think the people on Twitter who make comments like, oh my gosh, she's 14. Maybe they're actually just projecting what they want it to be because that's their kink. But they're like, they oh, want he's be so like. super young. You know what's weird? I mean, maybe mm. they existed, but I didn't see as many issues with uh, near Tomma and 2B yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, as as this game mm. seems to be you know, creating. I think it's uh, I, I think it's worth noting something very important <laughs> about near automata and that is cut the right as I was saying, that is. <laughs> oh, fuck you. <laughs> God damn it. Somebody deleted their tweet. Here we go. As I was saying, the thing that's important to note about Nier Automata is he said while it loaded. Oh, God. Okay, here we go. Motherfucker. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Me oh my god, it. kill me. There it is. <laughs> Dude. Uh, oh god. There are two B has three hundred thousand polygons of robot ass. Nice. True you American can... heroes were behind this. Yes. So that that's the difference. I don't know where I was going. Dude, I just there realized Spider Man 2. You know how it was like double the budget or whatever it took twice as much? Mm -hmm. All of that went into re-rigging the face to match that uh, that writer chick. Clearly. Also, uh, Laura Bailey is the voice of Mary Jane. Mm. Why couldn't... Poor she... thing, I'd sue. <laughs> and I assume she did the, the facial motion capture for it like every other oh, voice yeah, actor she, did. She did so. Abby in uh, The Last of Us 2, mm -hmm. so I'd have... No doubt she'd do Mary Jane. Sorry, I'm just reading some comments here. SJWs are discovering sex cells. He criticized the game as being from an antiquated... Oh, we already covered this. Thank you all. Always Augie and Horizon. Mary Jane got roasted for being ugly, and then it turns out the character model looks just like the writer. Yep. Yep. Okay. All right. So let's continue with uh, Stellar Blade <laughs> from Bro Taku. <laughs> Former Stellar Blade dev calls for boycott. Dev linked to Missandra Group. So um, not only do they call for a boycott, uh, it is because they and another uh, developer on the game were fired for being feminists. So um, if you needed any more reason to say... God damn it. There it is. PP got massively big when I read this. There you go. Uh, a former developer at Shift Up has claimed that she was forced out of the studio due to her being a feminist and has taken to Twitter to ask for people to boycott Stellar Blade. The developer claims that she was harassed and that there is another female employee that was dismissed due to her being a feminist. Looking into the matter, which is sadly not something many on Twitter do, reveals that the shirt she wore is linked to the Megalia group. Megalia, no. or Daughters of Megalia, is a radical feminist group that has gotten a lot of flack due to its misandric viewpoints. The Did, group are they women... the people that do the, the tiny pinch yes, symbol? they are. <laughs> yes. Listen. Nice. Listen. Although they may be our tiny dick brethren... <laughs> The Koreans will put up with no shit from feminists. <laughs> and for that, 
nice. for that, they have big dicks in spirit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a radical feminist group that has gotten a lot of flack due to its misandric viewpoints. The group believes women to be superior to men and actively plots crimes against men. You know what a crime is? I'm trying to censor this. <laughs> um, Megalia, which claims to be fighting for equality, often uses derogatory terms for men and even has called for those who criticize the group to be beaten for every breath they take. Various Megalia websites also post and promote pictures of men that have had their genitalia cut off. One of the most popular posts from Megalia requests women to get an abortion if their child is a boy. Get, the group get an abortion if your child, your that child was a man. That baby in the corner would be murdered in Korea by these feminists. <laughs> there it goes. If He's gone. Got they got pregnant. him! No! Oh, yeah. <laughs> the group has justified these actions by saying that it is a countermeasure to misogyny and any criticism of their actions from the general public has been met with threats. Megalia has also begun targeting homosexuals by outing their sexual orientation. Imagine hating men so much that the men who don't want to have a relationship with you are still targeted. A new site called WOMAD. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Should be called Ho Mad, right? <laughs> Has been open specifically for this purpose. These actions have led to boycotts from the Korean public when censorship is brought into question, and as such, companies avoid necessary uh, and as such, companies avoid unnecessary censorship and any association with the Megalia Group. Next and previous fired an actress for associating with Megalia. Due to protests from fans, the move was widely supported by the majority of Korea, but received widespread criticism from Western media. The Korean media industry is not without faults. Women are often sexualized and are held to a high beauty standard in the industry. The, the utmost. <laughs> the solution to sure? these issues... Are you sure about that? We just saw the beauty in the industry. On Spider-Man and other no, games. No, you dumb fuck. Korean media industry, not video game media industry, the Korean media industry where all the K-pop stars are. They're held to high beauty standards in the industry. The solution to these issues, however, doesn't come from supporting groups like Megalia, which only seeks to create division. Western media should also refrain from passing judgment, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, um, uh, pre-order. 